So you just got your 2020 iPad Pro during quarantine and you're looking for the best accessories for it. Whether you bought the bigger, more expensive iPad Pro like me, or just the regular 11 inch iPad Pro, all of the products that I'll go over will most likely have a version for either size. One of the first things that I bought for my iPad Pro is this AM Film Tempered Glass Screen Protector. The reason why I bought one is because of how fingerprinty the screen can get. The oleophobic coating on the iPad Pro is pretty bad and looks pretty nasty after a few minutes of usage. This screen protector is a lot better than whatever it is on the iPad, plus it'll protect your display from shattering or scratches, and Face ID still works because of the cutout for the sensors, and the Apple Pencil glides a lot smoother, which I'm a fan of. I would also recommend picking up a screen cleaner. My go-to screen cleaner is called Woosh because, well, it comes with an orange microfiber cloth, it does what it advertises, which cleans your screen from nasty fingerprints, and it's relatively affordable. Now, everything I mentioned in this video will be linked right below that like button. So next up is a great alternative to Apple's smart folio case. So this is the ESR Rebound Magnetic Smart Case. Now, if you're looking for a cheaper, better alternative to Apple's folio case, this is a great option. It comes in a variety of colors. It's thin and also hugs your Apple Pencil. So if you put your iPad in your bag, the pencil won't fall out. The fourth thing I would recommend is a dbrand skin. Now, whether you're a case person or not, dbrand offers a bunch of different skins that can make your new iPad unique. They actually just started offering frame skins for the iPad Pro so that the sides are also protected. I went ahead and picked up their new Sunrise Orange for the sides and the back, plus a white carbon fiber for the camera module to give it a nice contrast. But they have a ton of different skins for the iPad Pro and other devices, so if you want to go ahead and pick up a few skins, check out my link below or go to dbrand.com slash heymarkl, and special thanks to dbrand for sponsoring this video. Next up is the Tuvrin pouch for the iPad Pro and Apple Pencil. Now, if you don't like putting your iPad Pro in a bag, this might be your next purchase. This pouch is made out of premium leather that also features a microfiber lining on the inside. It's a neat way to carry your iPad Pro if you're going to work or if you're always on the go. Now, it also houses magnets inside so that you can fold a sleeve and prop up your iPad vertically or horizontally. Again, everything that I talked about in this video will be linked down below. So if you're looking for a keyboard for your iPad Pro, Apple's Magic Keyboard is obviously the best keyboard that you can buy because of its built-in trackpad. Now I've made several videos on the iPad Pro and its keyboard and how I think it's overpriced, which I think is still very much overpriced, but there's nothing out there that can really compete with the Magic Keyboard. Even the Bridge Pro Plus keyboard that I reviewed is just okay. Plus I got this really cool skin from dbrand which makes the Magic Keyboard look even better. Next up is the Nomad Power Pack. This battery bank features USB-C and USB-A ports that also features tile inside so that you can keep track of your battery bank. It packs a 9,000 milliamp hour battery, which isn't the biggest, but it's enough to give the iPad Pro a full recharge, which is all I need it to do. It's pretty rugged and relatively small, which is perfect to travel with. Now, if you're looking for ways to transfer files or photos onto your iPad, or maybe even connect your iPad Pro to a monitor, I'd highly suggest picking up this Hyperdrive USB-C hub. It features a 3.5mm headphone jack, USB-A, SD, and microSD card readers, a USB-C port for power delivery, and a full-size HDMI port that's capable of pushing up to 4K at 30Hz. Now, this is my go-to hub for my iPad Pro and works really, really well. Last but not least is this really cool Apple Pencil Dual Tone Sleeve. It's a super thin silicone material that adds grip and style to your Apple Pencil. I really dig this one because it makes using the pencil a lot better, and two, it makes it look a lot cooler, and three, you can still charge the pencil normally. The material is thin enough so that it will attach the iPad magnetically and charge your pencil. And that's pretty much it. I hope this gave you all some ideas on what to pick up next for your brand new iPad Pro. Make sure to check out all the links below that like button for everything that I mentioned in this video, and yeah, I'll see you all in the next one.